Good evening, traders. How you doing? Hey, Jay from Life Trader. So I thought I bring a quick video for you guys um, as far as the market update for tomorrow. I've got a lot of requests came through to talk about the market, and I this is something that I am going to start doing on a nightly basis. <clears throat> Looking at the future is pretty uh pretty flat right now. Not much happening. We took out this uh, bottom. We we took out this support right here. We have 200-day moving average in in the Russell 2000. That's actually that's my uh, barometer for the market. This is how I gauge what what's going what what's going to happen in the market in a uh, short term. And then I go to spiders, which is S and P 500, and then I go to QQQs, which is NDX 100. So only 100 stocks traded here, 500 stocks traded here and 2,000 stocks traded here, and I hardly ever look at the diamonds. However, there are some correlation, and we'll t we can talk about it a little bit later. So let's look at the IWM. As you can see, IWM hasn't done much. It's been, uh, it's took out the uptrend line. It's a micro uptrend line that's been taken out, macro uptrend line in on the weekly chart on the Russell goes something like this so we are still the macro trend line is still intact if i were to bring this up for you guys this is a macro trend line and that comes about right over here if you think about it there will be some inflection point at 115. so until 115 there will be no damage to the market frankly speaking we can leave it here uh, there will be no damage to the market and look where the trend line is and look where the major support kind of uh, um, resides here and that's also happened to be the low for the year that's where we started the year so we're pretty much in a range bound you look at the spiders uh, spiders are pretty much in a range bound whether you like to believe it or not but this is what's happening in the spider that's the range we are we we, we took out we took out this range a couple three times and now we at we're actually creating we're actually creating a a bigger range in the spiders right here, S and P. We're in we're right now. We're in the middle of the range. Um, obviously, this this has held. We are in a, a downtrend immediate term. In order for us to get bullish in the spider, spider spiders would have to take out the 210 and hold 210 for intermediate term to be neutral in this market. So that's what I am looking for. Um, if you, if it went, if tomorrow, t as tomorrow goes, so goes the week. I think tomorrow is going to be critical because the levels that we are seeing in the S and P right here, we are pinned against 50 MA right here. We have a three-bar pattern coming after a big volume, and then the only concern I have is the declining volume here. However, the 60 minutes are starting to tell me that we may have some. Uh, some upside bias building here in in the uh, in the indices. Uh, QQQs obviously uh, took off right here. This was the range. It's been tr it was tra trading in this range for quite a while right here in this range right here trading quite a while. Took took out took out the highs straight up shot came back which is expected right over here. I told I I was you know I, I'm the first one to tell you I was kind of wrong because I told the subscribers that we're going to kind of hang out here and perhaps take out the low what well, we didn't and now we're you know we're seeing a little bit weakness in the spiders as well so spiders uh, right into this right into this area congest in, into this congestion area uh, for spiders the same thing here for me 111 area is to watch we got to close above the 111 for to be short term neutral and then we get bullish once we take out the 113. So that's what the indices, uh, as far as what's going on with the indices. If you're a day trader tomorrow, watch this level to be broke. If we take break this level, come back, retest. That's your buy area right over here. If you if we take out the 110, then it's just a matter of time before we hit 109. And then we're going to probably see the lows very quickly. IWM, I have been... I have been advocate of the IWM for quite a while. Those that subscribe to my newsletter, they know that 121 is a key level for IWM. 121 happens to be right over here. Now we've got 200-day moving average to deal with as well. Uh, but look at this, what's going on with IWM. IWM came down here, came down to support. Everybody got bullish right here. Bam, 
we've got slammed right here. And then when right here, typical textbook, test, textbook uh, cell setup, and then we slammed right here. What, what we're seeing here, the rallies are getting shorter. So this is a very important critical time for the IWM. If IWM fail to rally above 121 and break this area tomorrow, then watch out below. We have some, um, we'll have some volatility kick, kicks in and we'll see some new lows in the IWM. And this area is actually pretty good. Be healthy for the market for the pullback. A couple of stocks that I like to bring it to your attention that I like uh, from the long side. RAD that looks really good as far as the long NOC. I love this long as well. General Dynamics, that's my favorite long setup as well. Look at the weekly chart, looks super solid. And FFIV, that looks really strong for, to the upside. WDC, it's it's starting to stabilize. I still like it. Uh, I still like it lower. Triple L, uh, three uh, L level three. I like this as, as a lower watch. ANTM is my favorite. That is on a short watch as well. A quick video for you, quick, quick video for you guys to take a look at, see what's going on, and I will be back tomorrow.